I'm Hilary Mulek and I'm a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas and on this week's YouTube episode I'm going to be talking about how I use the task management tool in HoneyBook. If you're not familiar with HoneyBook, HoneyBook is my client management system. I do everything in there from communicating back and forth with all of my clients, tracking my leads, sending proposals, contracts, invoices. I collect payments over HoneyBook and there's just so many amazing features. It is definitely my number one recommended client management system. If you are interested in trying it, I have a code down in the description below where you can get a free trial and 20% off if you decide to sign up for HoneyBook. So let me show you about one of my favorite features, the task management tool in HoneyBook. So here I am on my homepage of HoneyBook, and if I go over here, there is a section called the task management tool in HoneyBook. So if I click here, I can actually see the different tasks that I have assigned to different projects in HoneyBook. And how these tasks are created, I'm gonna go to my projects and go to one of my weddings, Ashley and Robbie's wedding. Their wedding is in six months. Now, as soon as I have a couple that books a wedding with me, I have created an automation or my wedding workflow that I assign to that project. And this is what that looks like. So if I scroll to the bottom of this project, you can actually see here that I have an automation that is attached to this project called the Wedding Photography Workflow. If you're interested in seeing this full wedding workflow that I have created in HoneyBook, the entire automation, you can actually download it for free down in the description. You can download the guide that is my full wedding workflow if you're interested in seeing the whole workflow, all the steps that are accompanied in it. Right here, it just says that the wedding photography workflow automation has been added to this project. And then if I go here, there are seven tasks that are pending for this project. So we still need to schedule a timeline console, get their second shooter secured. I have due dates that are attached to all these things. If I go down here to the bottom, after I shoot their wedding, I need to deliver their sneak peek images, deliver their full gallery, send them the brochures I've created in order to make their selections for their heirloom albums. I'll design the album and then that is the end of the workflow. So all of these are tasks that I have assigned to this project in particular. And if I go back here to the homepage and go to my task management right here, I can actually see any tasks that I need to do either today or in the near future. So for multiple projects, I have albums that are pending that need to be designed or approved by the clients. I have some engagement sessions that need to be delivered. So this one, I'm actually shooting this engagement session this week and after I shoot it, I will mark this as complete when I've delivered the engagement session. I have a couple more engagement sessions that are gonna be delivered after I shoot them. Down here, I have a timeline that needs to be created for this specific couple. So anyways, these are just a 13 tasks that I have created due dates for that are needing to get done. If I go here to see tasks that are due this week, I actually have 15 tasks that are due this week. So there will be a couple tasks that will be added to the bottom here, such as designing an album for this couple, securing a second shooter for this particular wedding. If I wanna see all the tasks that I have for every single project that I have going on in my HoneyBook right now, I have 78 tasks. I can click that and look at them all. So these are the ones that that have overdue because the due dates are happening now. But these are just a bunch of tasks that I need to do in the future. So scheduling consultations for people, securing second shooters, delivering galleries, designing albums, just a bunch of different tasks that I have created. I can also go to each of these particular projects if I want to work within these projects, or I can just go here to my task management tool and mark as complete when any of these tasks are done. If I would like to create a task, I can go here, click create a task. I can pick a due date for this task, assign a project in which this task needs to be completed, 
and then write down the task and then it'll appear here in my task management. So right here, let's say in Allison's engagement session, maybe I don't wanna pick a due date for this, but I need to send a review link. So now that task is in there. And once I've completed that task, all I have to do is mark as complete. And then now that task is completed. I'm actually gonna delete that task because that's not a real thing that I need to do. So two ways you can access this task management feature in HoneyBook. You can go to your homepage and select the tasks there and be able to look at them. Or you can go up here to tools and just click tasks from there and see your tasks that you have do now that you've assigned to different projects or do in the future that need to be done. I love using the task management feature in HoneyBook. I feel like it keeps me really organized and it keeps my client process really seamless because I can see all of the tasks that I have assigned to each one of my projects and what I need to be doing now and focus my attention on now versus what I have coming up in the future. And it just helps me give each of my clients the very same awesome client experience because I'm able to organize all the tasks that need to be done within each of my projects on HoneyBook. Again, if you're interested in trying out HoneyBook, you can use my code down below and also get 20% off if you decide to move forward with it as your client management system. And if you want to see my full wedding workflow, I have a freebie available. Just click the link down in the description. You can see all the steps and tasks that I've created in this workflow in HoneyBook. And so many any of the tasks that you saw in my task management here in HoneyBook, those are steps that are in my workflow that I assign as automations to each one of my projects. So if you want to learn more about just the different steps that I have created in my wedding workflow, you can download that freebie. Thank you again for watching and I will see you again next week for another one of my favorite features in HoneyBook. See you then.